Welcome to Against the Storm. My name is Nilaus, and this is a first look video of Against the Storm that was just releasing yesterday on Steam after an extended period of early access on Epic. Now, what is uh, Against the Storm? Well, according to the Steam description, it says that it is a dark fantasy city builder where you must rebuild civilization in the face of apocalyptic rains. As the Queen's Viceroy, lead humans, beavers, lizards, and harpies to reclaim the wilderness and to cure future for civilization's last survivors. Now, what got me so interested in uh, this game is the fact that it is styled as a roguelike city builder. And I really like that idea. The fact that you can build a city builder that's not like a massive uh, long game. And you can kind of uh, enjoy the early parts of the, the game more. So each mission or each session of this is about a one hour long. It could be a bit longer, a bit shorter, depending on how you play. And uh, then it'll be tying together with a meta progression, as all roguelikes do. So that you can get more challenges and more rewards and more tools for the upcoming for the upcoming missions and you can also select more challenges as well now i will be uh, playing one of these missions in uh, this video so uh, you can get a sense of the game the purpose of these first look videos is for me to focus on explaining mechanics and showcasing how the game works so you can make a decision on whether this is a game for you and, and also if you want to see more on the channel so leave a comment about that as usual if you enjoy the content uh, hit the like button and of course consider subscribing if you want to keep up with future content uh, you can do that while we watch a short cutscene and get into the pre-game's uh, mission select. The world is plagued by the Blight Storm, a vile cycle of destruction ravaging everything in its path. The only safe haven is the smoldering city where the mysterious Scorched Queen reigns. You are one of her viceroys, a pioneer sent into the wilds tasked with establishing new settlements and acquiring valuable resources for the crown. Your goal is to help rebuild the smoldering city and secure the future of the Queen's subjects. Between uh, missions, we find ourselves in this map and uh, this is where we select the next mission. So you can select a hex and then you sort of get rewards from the surrounding hexes. There will be some random locations with special events that can influence each mission here. We can also go into the smoldering city, but we'll only do that after the mission because then we also have some points to spend for the meta progression that is part of the game. What we're going to do here is we are going to uh, just take a select a, a location, this one, and we'll be looking at it uh, here. We have some different modifiers, some different things that can come in. Uh, the caravans, what are, what are we starting with? Do we start with some humans and beaver or do we start with exclusively beavers? I think I like the beavers in the beginning because they need to, they're good at chopping wood and wood is of city builder, so we need to chop some wood. We're also going to be having some things that we can bring in to start with and we are going to be starting with, yeah, just like that, a bit of food, a bit of wood and a bit of clay for some stone bricks. We can set the difficulty mode. I set it as settler, that is the default mode. So we're going to be starting here and then diving into the game. This is the pre-game summary of the impact so in this case because of the selected the location we selected the surrounding areas uh, whatever else that can be affecting it we have here we have a 10 percent gathering speed uh, for for every two workers assigned to a gathering camp we have giant trees so we can get those in uh, giant resource nodes that can be found in forbidden glades we'll come back to that and this is the settler modifier that they use 35 percent less food we also have some other uh, impacts here this is only available in the drizzle so that's the different seasons there's the drizzle season and then we also have the storm season uh, here and that will just fluctuate over the year uh, basically there's the good seasons and there's the bad seasons uh, we'll be getting in here so this is now the game and we are in this is a normal city builder so we're going to be starting with uh, all the normal city building parts i'm going to be starting by just throwing down some roads oops uh, they are going to be here and we talk a bit about what we can uh, expect from a game such as this. Well, the first thing is, what is the objective of the game? The first objective of the game is we have a bar down here. This is the blue bar, which will need to be filled up and then we win. There's a red bar here, which is the queen's impatience. And if that fills up, we lose the mission. On top of that, we also have hostility from the surrounding area. Uh, there are no, there's no combat, but there are sort of hostile events that can take place uh, that we need to, uh, to handle um, when when exploring a different area. And that just means the, the difficulty of those events. Right, let's get started on some of the basic stuff before we uh, get into how we progress the bar. We are going to start 
Looking at these glades, these glades, they have a skull in them. So that means they are dangerous. This one does not. So let's start and try to uh, breach this one first. So we're building a lumberjack. We are going to be chopping this part in here and then we'll breach into this glade, which is something we definitely want. Funnily enough, we have only that glade, which is not dangerous. So that's going to be tricky, I think. Now let's uh, talk about how to get the blue bar to progress and some of the stuff that is uh, different or this is uh, that's relevant to this. It makes it sort of a roguelike part. We have the reputation bonus. We start with some reputation bonus. That means there are some things we can get immediately. And here we can see there are lots of different uh, things that we can do. We can take up these three buildings. You can see the star rating. Star rating means that it is it is how good the recipe is. So for example, uh, since there are only two, they go to star one, two, and three. And we can have a smart farm that can harvest vegetables. And that's a one star. So it's not the best. Uh, or we can do grain, which is it's better at. Or we can make a cookhouse where we can make skewers, biscuits, and pigment, uh, both all at full rating. Or we can get a carpenter, which can make planks at two uh, star rating. I want to make uh, planks early and a lot of them. So we take this one. We still get, now we get foragers, trappers, and small farm. They are all sort of bad ways to get stuff. Uh, this will be collecting things. Foragers can collect insects, eggs. Trappers can also select eggs as well but also meat. So since we have the beavers and beavers, do they like meat? I can't remember. They need pickle food. I can't remember that. Um, I think we'll take a trapper camp. We can also wait with this a bit. A clothier that's good at making cloaks or a fabric producer. Um, I think I wanted to do that one. So that's the three things we choose immediately. Then we have another thing, a favor from the queen, where this is again something that turns a different, that makes, uh, makes each run different. Uh, this will come up sort of periodically, as far as I can tell. Gain two amber. Amber is like a currency for every six packs of trade goods produced. So basically get some free materials, plus two leather production, gain additional leather yields from gathering, farming, and production. I don't know how to get leather though, but that seems really good. I don't think we're going to be making a ton of trade goods, so I think I'll pick that. That means we should keep that in mind. Then another way, and this is the primary way to progress the blue bar, is to do these orders. You can see that they unlock at different time intervals and we get up here Then we can take one of these orders that we think we want to do. So have eight villages sheltered with the need sheltered fulfilled for 20 seconds and get 20 wood. This will give us more newcomers. We want to get more newcomers in the beginning. Alternatively, we can, we build a training post and we have five ember. Then we get some biscuits. Yeah, I definitely want to get this one. This is sort of easier and it's more along the lines of what we absolutely want to do early. Now we can uh, lost in the woods. We can uh, cut through to two forest glades. That should be pretty simple. If we do that, we get uh, more stone production, more clay production and some tools. That seems good. On the other hand, building materials will give us more planks and planks are just absolutely amazing and something I always lack. So I'm going to take that one. Uh, then we have another option for some glades. That's pretty good. Uh, or we have over here, we can get some back pack of crops and that could get us some planting crops is 20% faster. Uh, industrial plus pack of crops. Mm, so this is if we're doing crops. I think we'll get this one because we want to punch through to some glades. So each of those will give us one progress bar here. Now at this point, we take a woodcarver camp is now built. Nothing's going to happen until we assign some workers and you can see this one has a specialization bonus for workers and these are specialized in woodworking and engineering so what we need to do is get some shelters going because that was one of the things that it said um we're gonna make eight shelters or four shelters here and they can each contain three so that should be enough for 12 that'll get everyone we can see up here this number 10 is basically their happiness the resolve it's called and when they are sheltered they get extra when they have dedicated beaver housing, they get extra. When they eat biscuits, when they eat pickle goods, it's great. Uh, when they have clothes, what do they not have? Oh, never mind. Leisure, education, and luxury. Those are the things that will make the beavers happy. So let's uh, try to keep that in mind. Scavenger camp, this will can get us eggs and also 60% chance of leather. So we want to make a trapper camp in, or a scavenger camp because scavenger camps can also take this part there. So we make a scavenger camp, which can also take the roots. And we are chopping through to this location. I kind of want to get more chopping going because that's kind of important. 
A carpenter might be something we'd want to get because we want to make planks, because a lot of buildings will require planks soon enough. Here we can make planks out of wood. This is a two-star recipe. We can make simple tools, but since we don't have neither the copper bars or the crystallized dew, then we can't make that. And we can make luxury goods. Uh, you can click here and then select different things as input. We have none of those, so I'll just deselect it because we actually don't want to make that. So at this point, we're just going to be speeding up here. Uh, we want to make sure that we get some wood here. So let's uh, make sure that we get a uh, trapper's camp. We don't have anything that can be trapped. So wood cutting, I will be cutting my way into this region, which is dangerous, but I think we'll want to do that anyway. We have nine population and five of them are unemployed or free workers. The free workers are the ones that end up building stuff. We have some right here. We can now assign two. They will be harvesting the eggs and harvesting the roots in the area. And these are uh, finite resources, so at some point they will be running out. Up here we can also assign, and we now have one left. That means at this point we don't actually have any builders remaining, so yeah, maybe we take one of these out there. So we at least have a builder that can continue to build this part. Now this is not really getting done because uh, we need planks and we need fabric and we have neither planks nor fabric. So we're going to need to have some way of doing that. A crude workstation is like a very simple way of getting stuff done. Uh, we can make we can make some planks and we can make some wood. How much do we need? It is five and two. So I'm just going to make this one to five and this one to two. There we go. So we don't make too much because these recipes are not even um, not even one star. They're just zero star basically. So they are very ineffective. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have uh, many people to assign. But we should be getting the wood right now because we are not really getting anything else or not anything else is being done. Here we will also be punching through this area very, very soon. As soon as we do that, we will see, we'll get this area uncovered and then there will be something in there. Oh, we, we had the sheltered really for a short time we had it. But when they get, bring it back here. And then we can get it. Come on, you can, you can do it. I guess they're going into here filling it up into the internal storage and should be someone going there. oh there we go we got a new glade what do we have in this glade we can see we have a uh, leech brood mother that's gonna be here that's great trapper and trapper will also take that so that's a good way of getting some meat and some eggs great and this will be what was this again this is a coal deposit great we can use coal to burn at our hub. This is our central hub. It's a hub, it's not a mall. And it will always be burning stuff and you can do some sacrifices if you want to get some kind of buffs. But generally it'll just burn through the woods as we have it or anything else, any other resource that we have that available. We have our uh, one of those fire keepers uh, assigned here. And we should have this one. So now we get the first mission complete, which will give us three newcomers, a box of planks, which is good and a pack of mushrooms. Right, and we have four minutes until the next unlock. At this point, we now get a pick a new building. We also got one progress bar on the blue. So we get a new building as a reward for making a progress. This will be, well, a rain mill can produce flour, hmm, but flour from what? Uh, let's see, don't know. Uh, provis bag of provisions, but also flour at reach two. Skewers, biscuits. Biscuits is something that is needed for um, their happiness. Oh, we got a harpy from our newcomer. We got two harpies, actually. Uh, I'll do a rain mill, I think. No, I'll do this one. Pack a provisioner. Good. So now we have a new uh, harpies. They are skilled at alchemy and at cloth, cloth working. And enjoy brewing. Humans enjoy farming and brewing. Well, maybe not entirely incorrect. Uh, this here, uh, we now have more people. So let's assign... Some harpies here. Let's assign a harpy because I want to make over here. I want to assign our beavers to the woodworking because that's their specialty. Also, this part whenever they can. Uh, at this point, we are not going to make bricks. We are there. We're going to make it out of leather because that's the one we have. And I'm just going to make that up front because we need two fabric. Once we have the fabric, we can get it in to the carpenter. We can now see that the session is storm. Oh. Uh, now there's uh, something is happening. We're now in the storm and that has some negative impacts on their happiness. Right, what is going on here? So here is uh, a thing. Working effects. 
Fallen beavers. Seeing fallen kinsmen has its toll on the villagers. Minus six beaver solve if it's active only when it the corresponding glaive. Okay. Um, so, spawn at least two pieces of living matter. Uh, okay, so bad stuff will happen in seven minutes. But we need to work for three minutes. And then we need to select whether we want some stuff for production. Or we want to get a bit more progress. I actually think I want to do this part. We don't have enough. So we are going to have to unassign some from here. And this one. Uh, let's assign here and assign there. That means we can't build anything, but I need this to be uh, to be done as fast as possible. And then I'll do... Maybe you want to do that? Nah, we'll do this. We get some progress. And now we get new events coming in. That is newcomers. What do we want? Do we want harpies? No. I think we want more beavers and humans because we want to do more farming. Absolutely. There we go. And that now make it a little bit easier. There we go. And we now also have a few idle. Uh, so this part is important to get completed before because our beavers are suffering suffering a negative effect until that is done. What else do we have in here? Uh, we have a bit of coal. We have a bit of a worm tongue that gives us insects. We can do that with a trapper's location. Oh, we built this one, but we didn't assign anyone for it. Uh, specialization is meat. That lizards are good at, at harvesting meat. This one also got built, but at this point we don't have anyone to assign, so we need to sort of both do two things. That is, get more people in, and also get more... Uh, uh, you can actually go out here. We don't want to make that, and we want to make you in here instead. There. Good. And this one is completed, and we have more events up here. We have a new cornerstone event. Families, gratitude, relatives of your villagers send gifts and treating uh, for treating their families well. Get 40 water skin for every full reputation point obtained through high resolve. Okay, strange roots uh, spread across the land. Wood production is increased by plus one, but harvesting and planting are 20% slower. Mm, I'm not really doing much harvesting and planting, but let's get some more wood here. So uh, if you get to that blue bar here in the resolve uh, reputation threshold 30, the reputation threshold is only 15, then they will actually start generating resolve by just being happy. So that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, this one shouldn't be doing anything, so that's okay. And we now have a new orders unlocked. Uh, we should also always keep an eye on how do we make the pack of building materials? How do we make the clo uh, how to make the new glades? So those that's how we progress. Meat treaties. So if we can get some jerky, we can get more jerky. That's good. Or if we can have eight beavers at 20 resolve, then we get a lumber mill. Ooh, that's good planks and pickle goods. And I actually want this one, but we don't have a place to do jerky, do we? Huh. Well, I'll take it. I just hope for the best. Oh, more jerky. Okay, well, I guess we have to figure out how to do jerky then. All right. So we can go up to our recipe here and look under food. I don't have any food that I can make. That's crazy. Huh. Farm field. Oh, yeah. We don't have any any stuff. Okay. So what we definitely want is to punch through to another region so that we can uh, un unlock more. So I'll be unlocking. Mark trees for unlock. There we go. So we can punch into that one. That will give us the glade uh, building materials. Let's have a look at the recipes and see if we can get that is all... A pack of building materials. Where can we make that? We can make it in a makeshift post. They are really bad, but we want to make it. Uh, let's see. A makeshift post. We make it here. Also, another thing that we want to do is a trading post. So we'll just throw that in. That will allow the trader to come visit us. Uh, we don't have any workers because everyone is uh, is occupied. But as soon as this one is done, uh, that is done now. And we'll get this effect out of the way. This should be done now. Hmm. Why isn't that done? Oh, they are carrying the resources back here. Okay, cool. So they're carrying the amber that we uh, we got as a reward for unlocking this. There we go. So what do we have here? A big encampment. If we can send them eight food, yeah, we can. Then and spend two minutes, then we get a lot more resources here. So that's good. I will definitely do that. Unfortunately, that means we can't do anything else. This is an artisan. What does an artisan work? Uh, artisan can produce coats, pigments, and barrels. Not super important, or we can just uh, scavenge it for resources. 
not what we're going to do right now. Now at this point we still don't have anyone working here uh, because we are... Oh, look at that. We have two un unsheltered and one unsheltered. So let's throw down a few more uh, houses. There. Oops. How did I not build that? Just a shelter. We want to get better houses as well. So that will be enough. But again, this little hammer it tells us that we don't have any workers available. Uh, if we look at our food, I think the food is actually okay. So let's unassign one of those so we have at least one builder that will get uh, get some work done. You are not in any range of anything. Big encampment is slowly progressing and then we'll get four more workers which is going to be helping us a lot on our progress. Of course, as we scale up workers, then we need to scale up on uh, a lot of other resources. Uh, this woodcutter is not really that great. Is there anywhere we can get... We can get... Okay, we're going to be punching through this one very, very soon. Alright, I'm waiting just a second and move to here. And then start cutting through this area. And when do we have this one completed? Oh, it's already completed. And we should have some extra people here. Yes, so we can make... Let's get some humans working on this. And there is a trader. Old... Far aloof. So, how does trading work? Uh, we can attack them for some odd reason. And we can then get look at if there's a, like a recipe we really want. Uh, rain punk drills. More. Yeah, mine. We don't have mines. Big files. Uh, pigment production. We don't really need anything for pigments right now. And this is always good, I feel. We always seem to miss some of these. So, if we can... Buy some while we have that option. That is good. Uh, I'll just take all of my gold. We need to match this amount. So what else do we think we can trade with? We can probably trade a bit of this. There we go. Ah, uh, did that work? Yeah, it seemed to work. Good. So we just got a few more simple tools. Simple tools are used for a lot of unlocking, such as here. We have unlocked a new area. Uh, open vault. This has a negative uh, event, small miasma cloud, a thick spreading cloud of miasma. It kills every living being in a radius of 20 fields. That's pretty shit. Uh, ominous whispers. All woodcutters and gatherers have minus 12 resolve and irresponsible archaeology. The crown doesn't like you tinkering with ancient relics. Impatience grows 100% faster. All right, let's uh, get this done quick as possible. There we go. And choose a reward. We can either get some Ancient tablets or fragment roots. Gain three incense for every root purchased. Produce. Or we want to get some gold. I think we'll get this one. Just So in this effect for the next 2.3 minutes. Then we will have a negative effect on everyone because of this. This is how it, it works in terms of negative effects. It's not a big deal. But it's not also not trivial either. Here we have the example of, uh, of tools being used for this. And since I don't have the tools. I only bought six tools. Then we can't really seem to get this. Planks, that's okay. And fabric, do we have fabric? Nope, we're not gonna use tools. We could get some, oh, pack of building materials. Oh, that's excellent. Let's get a few. Beaver resolve is low, I know, they're really low. That means actually they are probably going to be uh, running away. They do run away if they are unhappy. I am going to assign some here, some humies. They will be doing not planks, not bricks. I only do that, actually do, do bricks, bricks as well. I don't have a better brick production facility yeah not that yet and there this is just bad impact for another one minute but after that impact it's fine and they might we might lose a few of uh, of these that's just the way of the world you lose a beaver here and there and that's just uh, the cost of doing business yeah make more of this and also let like, drag some roads out here oops there we go, that's a nice road. And let's get it up here as well. This one, Artisan, I have no interest in at this point. Uh, we need to get this one done as fast as possible. Oh, hold on. Oh, a woodcutter has left. Damn it. We have the delivery though. We got this one completed and we got this one completed. Sweet. So we get better production now of planks. That's very good. And we also get extra deliveries when we work towards uh, these glade deliveries. So that's also nice. Still have an issue on our jerky build here so uh, yeah the left beaver resolution is low this one will be done in 17 seconds and then we'll be good to go again 
Oh, look at that. They actually just managed to get this one. So we get now rewards, various rewards here. We got newcomers coming in. Let's get some more beavers because we lost a few. Uh, there, we'll take that. We have a new cornerstone. Gain one villager every time you discover a new glade. That's nice. A shady but lucrative deal. Gain 10 amber every time a villager dies or leaves. And we don't want them to leave, so let's not uh, optimize for something we don't want to have happen. So, where, what do we get? These are good ones. Uh, herbalist camp. We haven't seen any herbalists yet, or herb, herbs we can't do. Uh, we can do a forager camp. Insects was one thing. I'll take that. What else? A brickyard. We definitely want brickyard. That's great at making bricks. But this is also good. A lumber mill is great for making planks. But, you know, we have extra planks. So we'll do a brickyard. All right. So forager camp is... There was some uh, up here. Some... We'll make that. There we go. We're starting to scale up because we're getting more resources here. Uh, four of them unassigned. And let's see. We now need a brickyard. Let's make that... Yeah, sure. That's a good place. And the trader is what is that oh it gets more okay so we, we get another trader soon this location if only we had oh we actually do have enough okay cool so what do we want we want leather plus a machinery oh this is for the citadel upgrade so let's actually for once do this uh, i'll assign some beavers for this and investigate we can also get like lots of money and queen's grace we're okay on the queen's grace but this is also increasing and uh, here this one says it's not doing anything because it i don't know why it's not doing anything that's weird oh because i set a limit here oops yeah, let's do 10. hold on didn't i have a better build for this didn't i say i wanted to have a better build uh i have a weaver okay please stop what you're doing now please stop this uh just get it out good We'll actually just delete this building because all the things that can be built here can now also be built in other ones. Like the brickyard can take care of the bricks. We're not going to do all the other ones. And we have here the weaver can do fabrics, training gear, and trade goods. Not really. Jerky is basically the biggest issue. So let's see if we, at this point, still don't have any way to make jerky. So if we get find an option to make jerky, then we will. Otherwise, our option is to get the... Uh, get this get this guy in, in six minutes let's see we should also get new missions in three new missions in one minute in the meantime let's get some things here this is a farming bonus so that humans are best at that uh, is it time for us to get this we don't really need it do we oh i definitely want to use this okay so once this is made that means the planks. Planks are working up here. Planks are getting built. I'm going to need to assign one more. Uh, specialization bonus. This is woodcut. There we go. We need uh, beavers assigned. We can also click up here. And then we can see if we have some beavers assigned to something that they shouldn't be assigned to. Not really. Uh, this can be moved closer now. There. They will be punching through that one very, very soon. We are bringing stuff in from this location. That is excellent. Oh, look at these beavers. These should not be beavers, by the way. And we have new missions. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Can we get mushrooms? I don't know. We can go up here and then look at mushrooms, uh, food. Uh, do we have? We have plenty of mushrooms, so that should be like an easy one. Mushrooms. We'll get five harpies and more cloaks. Psh, sure. Happy harpies. Eh, happy harpies is good. I'll take that one. And we already got it delivered. Done. And then we can get some pack of trade goods or luxury goods. What is the bonus for each? Ah, oh, more jerky. Yes, we are focused on jerky. We don't have it, but we want it. We want to make it happen. And beaver assault. Can we get beavers up to 22 in happiness? Or can we do some trading? I think I'll just do some trading because I think that's easier because we have someone coming in soon. And then we can do that. So because we completed a mission, we got another point. And that allows us to make make it something where we can get no none of these can make it uh so we can get leisure brawling and okay let's have a look at these what they need they need cleanliness education brawling brawling okay uh and biscuits they need leisure and they need 
Okay, definitely some leisure here. So we will be going up down here and taking a tavern because of course we'll make it make a tavern. And let's see, it has to be sort of in this region here. I'll build it there. I'll probably be fine. How expensive is it to build? Oof, very expensive. And this, if we just have enough of these, we do not. Why? Where is our cloth going? Oh, it's not going anywhere. That's because we don't have anyone. There we go. And they are specialized in cloth, so that's great. They'll be just making tons of that. And plant fiber we don't have. We have lots of leather, so let's uh, make it out of leather instead. We have here, no specialization, so anyone can work on this. And this will be making bricks. And we don't have any of the clay or a stone available. That is bad. Oh, we have a location here. Oh, look at that. That's a stone. All right, so one of these is probably a bad impact. This one, uh, Fishman Witchcraft. I prepared a special surprise for anyone trying to break into the cave. Spawns three Fishman totem. That doesn't sound good. One impatience point, okay. And we don't have resin. We don't have any of these things. That is disastrous. This is not good. Um, anything else we have here? <laughs> a haunted brewery. <laughs> Working effect. What do we get? We get a flawless brewery. Oh, man. Do we want a flawless brewery? I don't know. Spark you. We don't have spark you. That's, uh, that's a lot of things we don't have here. We don't have that, so we can't unlock it. It's a kiln. Uh, kiln, we need bricks. We have uh, issues with our bricks as well. It's coal production. Uh, actually, we do need to make this one because that's probably the most important thing. There. This is definitely most important. Yeah. Most important things because that will get a stone. Stone is needed to make here. We'll change it to a stone recipe. And then we can use get that bricks because we're actually running out of bricks. And the scavenger depot is has nothing. I'll be moving you anywhere that a scavenger depot can get something for us. Uh, there's a bit down here. Sure, that's a good point. Um, there. So scavenger depot goes here. Oh, look at that. That is a trapper's camp. But you're also a trapper's camp. Uh, that's fine. So when this runs out, then we can move it over to here. We are desperate for beef jerky. <laughs> What is it? Goods sold, that is when... Okay, this is problematic. We need to make sure... Oh, first of all... Um, assign some harpies. Good. They'll be mining stone, if they can. And I just need a road up here as well. That's kind of getting a bit more stressful at this point, because we are... Oh, man, I don't want this. Let's see if there's something we can harvest from this. Yep, we have this, and yep, we don't have that. Uh, that's because it's being used for processing. What about here? Uh, leisure can get if we just have one, but we're brawling also. And if we have three, we can get this. Let's assign three people for this. Three harpies into here. That should give us the bonus here. Every evening, a gleeman tells a story about past glory and times before the Great Civil War. Plus three global resolve, same service. Thanks. Yeah, so that means we can get everyone to be just a little bit more happy. We have a few available here. Okay, our big issue is this one. No, this one. The Fishman's Cave. And we need to solve this. Unfortunately, I have not, none of these things are here. But the trader might be coming in as a rescue. Oh, there we go. We definitely need some of this. How much do we need? Um, <clears throat> and we also need some of this. Definitely not able to pay buy that. Ugh. Yeah, we do not have enough to buy all of this crap. Ancient tablets. Oh, cool. They're actually worth a lot. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, so let's just sell them. Don't have a lot of... Oh, look at that. Those are probably also worth a lot. There, 922. Uh, let's see. Oops. That's a good trade. That's still good. Can I get one more? Oh, that's so close. Come on. Let's do that trade. That'll give us some things up here. And that one has to be done right now with this part. Assign someone up. Go. And choose a reward. Do I want crates, meat, uh, insect traps? Or do no, I just want this. And then we have a negative effect. Trying... Fishman totem spawns every 60 seconds. I don't know what that is. 
A shady character appears in your settlement. You can choose one blueprint from all unlocked blueprints. Oh, that's nice. The cost of knowledge can be very high. You can see the content of undiscovered leaf. I don't care that, about that because I don't know what's good or bad. Well, it's four more people and... Oh, we definitely want tools. Tools are hard to get, so let's uh, always get the tools if we can. And let's see. So now we should have more. And hold on. There we go. The jerky is... One of those is done. Uh, let me see. If I complete this... Sure, this one probably doesn't get completed. And we also did the trading. There we go. That's another completed. We're making progress on our progress bar here. Oh, the smuggler. Okay, so what do we want? We want a smokehouse. Because that gets us beef jerky. Yay! We take it. Sweet. That is absolutely happening right now. Uh, you can be right there. Oh, that is so happening. More priority. There we go. That was exactly what we wanted. And let's see. Where are our lumber mills? The woodcutters, they definitely need to move to other locations so we can start punching through into other locations. I'll move it over here and then start harvesting through that region. Good. The other woodcutter is here. Not really doing much. Um, where do we want to go through? We can start moving it down here as well. There and then start moving through that one. Right, we still have more things to uncover. Now we get to sort of the part where how much are we going to make some of these things only to the extent where we actually need them. And I don't think we need any of these things like a lot. So biscuits probably nice to get a fisherman totem appear nearby. New threat fisherman totem. Um, okay, I'll assign someone to work on it there. And this one, yeah, this is uh, part of the negative effect here. But we need we need to make sure that we get it done. We have one minute and twelve, so it is before another fisherman totem comes by. Assign another one to take care of it. There we go. Oh, that's a uh, that's kind of stressful to take care of that. Right, we need to look at luxury goods. But I also think that we are making something we shouldn't make. Right, pack of crops. There, these provisions. Uh, yeah, these have probably been burning through a lot of resources. So let's get you the hell out of there. We don't need any of those. Let's have a look at... Is this trade goods? No. This is trade goods. Yeah, that's way too expensive. Oops. Uh, that's the trader that's not around here. You are making fabric in the most efficient manner. You are making bricks in the most efficient manner. As soon as this one is making it. A fisherman totem comes nearby. I'll just assign someone to get there. Look at that. We should have a lot of people that are unhoused, so let's make more houses. There, oops. That one, and another shelter here. Damn, we are running out of space here. Oops, that's not good. Move into this location. And this just screams path to us, doesn't it? A fisherman totem nearby. Damn, that's a lot of fishermen totem. Where are you? You're done, and you're done. Okay, you're done. There, good. And this one, this is now done. The effect is done, and they are collecting the rewards from this location. And then this should be disappearing afterwards, and the fishermen totem are good. Then we can start harvesting some of the other materials. We have actually really good amounts here. What do we want? Uh, crystallized dew and oil vessels? Nah, we'll, we'll do this. Two humans assigned, go. And what is this? This is a haunted brewery. Hmm. Hmm. Spark you? We don't have that. But we do have a lot of this. And what is the... Horrific phantoms appear before the village. Minus three global resolve every 60 seconds. Yeah, well, that's just kind of what it is. We'll have to do it. Choose a reward. And do we want a haunted brewery? Flawless brewery? It's some good things. Let's do it. And... Oh, we got another milestone completed here. And that means another thing we can make. Smelter. Hmm. Very good at cop bars, but we don't have that wine. We don't know what we need for that. Oh, how are we doing on the pickled things? We'll take the cookhouse. Hey, you're not doing anything. Get some work here. There. And they will be making jerky. Yay! And look at that. The jerky got done. Just like that. 
and that gives us bonus jerky production. Perfect. And this one gives us more jerky production. So we need to figure out how to do luxury goods. And here we need more luxury trade goods. Or a farm field. We don't have farm fields. So that's kind of... It would be easy to resolve normally. But I guess we're going to look at trade goods then. Uh, this is more trade goods and more luxury goods. Hmm. I'm going to pick this because of the 20 boxes. And we have to figure out how to do trade goods and how to do luxury goods. Good. So we'll go to the recipes and go to our trade goods. That was luxury goods. We have a carpenter who can do that. And trade goods, we have a weaver that can do that poorly. Hmm. Okay, so let's stay, look at the carpenter. The carpenter here, you can also do uh, trade goods. What are you using? Wine, we don't have wine. We have incense, but not really. A tiny bit of incense, so you can make a little bit of that. So we'd want to make some incense or any of these locations here. Ale, oh, ale. Ah, ale can be used for a... Ale can be used for luxury goods. Well, of course, that makes sense. And the weaver. This is the weaver. This is the weaver. Can use bad recipes here for pigments, oil, flour. Okay. I don't know why we got that. But let's uh, use some of this. It's not a good recipe, but it's a thing. Oh, we got another one. So, what cooking? Scrolls. Ale, copper bars, leather working, water skins, fabric. I don't know, luxury goods. None of those things are the stuff we want. This can make, scribe can make simple tools. That's nice to be able to do that. So we'll make, take a look at you. Uh, the bakery or the cookhouse. Pigment, pigment. Hey, we could do pigments. Pigments was one of the things that we might want, right? Yes, so let's do that. Uh, you are harvesting. Uh, we can also do here because then we can make more food and that will be good for our for our uh, skewer of jerky production. Where's our jerky? That's here. Go, go, go. Oh, uh, you're making it. Oh, right. You can make it out of both of those. Interesting. Forager camp has nothing to forage nearby. Okay, you. Uh, we'll just move you somewhere else and see if there's anywhere that we can forage things. Uh, not really. Okay. Well, if that's not the case, then we can just delete you. Go away. This thing is mine. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we got something. This one got completed. So let's uh, assign some humans. They like brewing. What do you want? You're making ale. Do we have grain? Nope. Do we have root? Yeah, a little bit. Do you have pottery? No. Do you have water skins? No. <laughs> do we have uh, pickle goods? Vegetables? No. But we have mushrooms. We can pickle some mushrooms. But we still don't have any pottery. All right. So pottery maybe? Pottery, pottery, pottery. We have uh, a level two of bakery. Oh, cool. Uh, blight rot blueprint. Each production cycle increases the building's blight rot level by 3%. Don't know what that means. Where is it? Uh, that's the one I have here, isn't it? No. That's the cookhouse. Uh, we can make pigment. Yeah, let's make pigment out of this. And that's biscuits. Yeah, sure. Vegetables. Let's make it out of eggs instead. And we need lots of people assigned here. This would be lizards would love that. They love working at warm places. Right. And we are still luxury goods and pack of goods. They are still being worked on, but they are kind of slow. And we get new stuff. What do we get? Receive three packs of Persian for every new villager. Mm, plus two leather production. Gain additional leather. I'll take the leather because we actually have a lot of leather. And any of this is particularly good. Not really. I'll just take that. All right. So you just assign some more. That's meat production. We don't have anyone who's good at meat production. There. Oh, we breached a location. All right. So what is this location? This has a lot of things, but this is the dangerous one. A quick cover-up of this crime will prevent the serious consequences. Otherwise, the merchant guild will retaliate. All the goods are worth 15 less to traders. Oh, they didn't want that. Uh, what, do you, what do you want to compensate? I'll give you some of this. Let's get out there. What is the negative effect? Some secrets are left untold. Get 20 hostility points every 60 seconds in a dish active only. Oh, and reduce to choose a reward. Uh, I'll do that one. Because we're actually close to winning this. So at this point, 
we can actually say like okay we'd like to complete all of these but we might not necessarily need to because we just need to fill up the bar. So at this point, we can try to figure out what we want. Uh, if we want something specific here, we have a lot of money. Well, I think that's a lot of money. All buildings have their storage capacity increased by 10. Okay. Starting point herbalist. Mm. And what do we want to make? I think I want to make something that I, I think water skins was something that I just didn't have. And I'd like to have. How expensive is that? Eh, it's not that bad. 16. Yes, I think I want that. Uh, is there anything I want to sell to you? Could I want to just sell that? Sure. Then get this down. Wow. That's way more valuable. I don't know what they're for. Um, they can be, can be acquired from orders, gladians and traders. Well, we'll just sell it. It seems valuable. And what else do we want? Uh, some bricks. We have plenty of bricks. Leather. Herbs. Do we even have that? I don't think we have enough roots. Hmm. It's weird that I don't know what to build. Well, if I don't know, then I can just get a bit of gold. There. And then some random stuff on top. Oh, I'm making a pack of crops for some reason. For no reason, I guess. There, that's happy. Good, we got it. So we did some more trading. Uh, unfortunately, no pack of trade goods available. This is uh, working on pack of trade goods. So any of these things, hey, look at that, water skins. We can use water skins to make trade goods. And we wanna make trade goods to do this. And the luxury goods is, that's pigment. We can do pigment and then pigment was, oh, we're not having enough stone. Oh, new threat, totem of denial. Oh no. Oh no. That's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, okay, I need to give you... I'll give you this. Alright, assign some people. And what do we want? We can get a totem. Cleanse to receive a global resolve bonus. Don't think I want that. I want a lot of stuff here. There we go. And it's a working effect. Uh, getting these two at the same time is probably not a good idea. I can do this and assign two for this one and then go for basically just maybe making a blitz towards completing it because we have some good ones here for this. Um, do we have any trade goods? No, she's gone now. Okay, never mind with that. You are working on pack of crops. Let's not do that. Um, pickle goods is probably good to make you more happy. You are so close to being happy, but one is on house, so we'll be we'll build another house for you. Build a house here. Uh, hey, what are you guys doing? Huh, how did I not even notice that they are they're here? Huh, all right. Trade goods, that trade goods. What else can we make? We can make a, shri a scribe who can make simple goods. Let's uh, see what the scribe can do. Here we are accumulating slowly. We'll probably get this one for the trade goods first. Uh, let me see where we have. Uh, let me go back here again. And under the trade goods. Trade goods, that's the weaver. Okay. And it's using water skins. The luxury goods is using incense. That isn't really happening. Uh, let's jump to that and then see if you can build something else. What else? You would want to make it with ale. Okay. But this is a brew house. So you can't do root, you can't do that, but you can do water skins because we just got some water skins. Then we can do roots. Anything else? No, we don't have enough roots. Okay. Uh, maybe that was something we should have bought then. Oh, see, there's a blue halo. That means that we're actually getting uh, a little bit of bonus plus 24 because they are so happy that they give us a bonus. Uh, that's pretty good. And at this point, oh, we also have another recipe here. Building specifically for beavers. Um, yeah, do we want our beavers to be particularly happy? Uh, there's still a long wave to be really happy. A bathhouse, cleanliness, and... Mm, I think I want a guild house. Let's make a guild house. It has to be built close. Okay, then build it here. What does that do? Uh, now that the guild has a presence in your settlement, merchants are eager to present that wares. Arrive 50% quicker. Okay. 
And we can also guild welfare according to customs. For each amber that goes through the guild, a small heart goes to the support of the locals. Gain a stack of wealth effects plus one to global solve. Each time you sell goods worth 60 amber. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. And are we solving this one? Yes, we are. And the time is completed, so they are now harvesting the resources here. They probably need a road as well. Just to make things go a bit quicker. What is this? That is a herbalist that we can't get. And that would give us mushrooms. Damn. And this would be... A lot of food. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of good stuff. And since we have people available, we might as well get this. Yeah. And anything for this one? Can we just... Yeah, okay, it's literally four bricks. That's nothing. Let's get that. That's pretty cheap yeah. to just get resources. And this one, can we also get that? Yes, 90 and 80. Okay, so let's just harvest these four resources. There we go. And down here, this is... We only have one. Anything else we have? We have that. That will give us 15 coins or more resources. I don't actually want more yeah. in my in here this is the bigger one because it's everything is revolving around that oh something happened we got hey we got to trade goods sweet let's deliver those and we won ha well there we go so that was a oh and we got a level six so you can see that that is uh, basically one of the small missions here i didn't really sort of explore everything in terms of the tech tree but i think that's a good thing so you can sort of choose where we want to go. We were sort of like, okay, the jerky thing is good. So let's move towards that. Uh, but a lot of the more complicated things like the wine and ale and stuff like that, we never really got to that in this run. And I suppose that maybe in more advanced uh, missions, maybe uh, we also completed it pretty quickly. I think we played well. Um, but it, um, in more complex missions, you might have to sort of work more on these things and sort of be in a race for time where you need to favor your uh, your population so that they can sort of drag home the bonuses, for example. And now we will be looking at the upgrades to the world map. This is what we got. We got one machinery that we got from one of the, the glades and we got 14 food stockpile and we completed some deeds. These are basically sort of in, uh, achievements that give bonus XP. So we go back to the world map. So as you can see, this is a, a pretty quick little run that we can do this and we now have a new city created over here and that sort of discovers a bit more of the map and uh, we can now go into our smoldering city at the smoldering city we have some deeds that we have completed win a game on the biome marshlands all right we got that that's 50. Uh, complete 30 orders cool we got 50 and win a game in five years or less yeah we were quick here we get a signboard excellent and then you can see here there's uh, more and more and more and more tons and tons of uh, of quests that we can complete and those will just sort of give upgrades. Let's go into the upgrade level, level here. We have one artifact that I got in the previous mission. Then we have one machinery that we got in this mission. And we have 23 food. 23 food. 23 food. Are you kidding me? Of course it's 23 food. Well, I guess we can do an upgrade. It's always one off. How, how can every game know that it should be one off? In any case, look at this. This is how you get it. So you both need the levels and you need like a lot of resources here. I would also hope and imagine that you get more rewards from future uh, future missions as that seems like an absurd amount of things for only getting 14 per mission. But hey, I don't know. Uh, we can look at some of the stuff we get here. So for example, everlasting, each of these each of these lines have a stat, sort of like plus two burning duration for all types of fuel. And that's what we get for every single one, plus two burn duration. But then we get also some other perks as well. Here we get some consumption control, so we can say, don't eat this and don't eat that. And uh, we get extra embark points that we just got. If we want to look at, if we had one more food, then we can check this. Uh, reputation pick pool increased, okay. Uh, you have one additional option to choose from when Picking blueprints for reputation. Oh, that's good. So we get four choices instead of three. Great. Trade routes uh, allow you to establish trade routes with other nearby settlements. That seems really good. That seems like something we'd, we'd want to have. Um, production speed increase and fun 
hub upgrade neighborhood so we can do an upgrade to the hub that's great and what about over here we get more embark bonus um, more stuff meat and vegetables we can bring in if we wanted to that mission and so on and so forth as we get up here we can oh we can see here embark range we can embark further out into the world so that's kind of one of the ways that we can sort of explore further out i think that is a pretty interesting way to to do the meta progression and that means that you can do these kind of runs and we just did a little run took less than an hour and we can then go out and look for the next one you can see down here there's a progress line we established four settlements and then when we get over towards this location then it'll sort of uh, there'll be a mass event where the blight storm comes back and all of the all of the uh, settlements are wiped off the map and we sort of have to start over on the new season but then we can move faster and further out at that location so it's it's not like a permanent settlement we're just trying to to expand out and then it'll be reset and then we can expand out further next time around also probably new events but i'm not really sure of it in any case uh, this uh, game against the storm is available now on steam if you're interested and i hope you've uh, found this showcase uh, this first look at the at uh, the game interesting if you have be sure to hit the like button of course i'd like to do more of these first look videos so if you have ideas for upcoming games preferably upcoming games that you think would be interesting to get my take on or think that would be relevant to the community by all means let me know and i will uh, check them out with a stream on twitch and then afterward make a first look videos such as this one uh, of course, needless to say, if you want to be uh, updated with more stuff uh, here on the channel, consider subscribing to keep up to date with more content like this and all sorts of other things. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.